Welcome back, folks. Well, I guess if you keep on watching some of my uh, videos, I guess you kind of like what the content is. All right, so welcome back, uh, everybody on YouTube. It's uh, Urban Survival Guy. <clears throat> and this is, uh, we'll go ahead and do a little, another short video about basically tips and tricks of the car industry. And uh, what, what it is, is if you see the prices of current car sales right now, the average price is about thirty-five to $40,000, which is, you know, it's out of reach for a lot of people. And uh, I sold cars for 15 years and uh, it's just every time I made a sale, I felt really bad. And I was actually top salesman too, because I knew that. 95% of my customers were paying, were getting loans. They didn't have the money to pay it cash. They had to basically finance it for six years, seven years, 10 years. And, uh, you know, it made me kind of feel I needed to do it because I, I needed the money. They were happy. But at the same time, too, it's like I knew that I was putting them into debt, which is like definitely what I don't want to do now. I don't want to get people into debt. <clears throat> so, if you guys don't know already, California has one of the most stringent small testing for cars. I mean, if you could pass California, you the car could pass any other state, but you can't say the same for other states. You could have a car pass smog in Texas and drive it to California and you can't register it because it didn't pass smoke. So who does that affect? It usually affects the older car, the lower income people that is trying to pay rent, pay bills, put food on the table and have some money left over. And um, so what happens is it's sort of like it pushes people to do things that they don't want. Like, for example, when the car register California requires a small check every two years for cars that's a little bit getting a little bit older, I think over five years. And so if you want to legally drive in California, it has to be registered, it has to be insured, and it has to pass smog. So, <clears throat> you know, I was having a lot of problems too, because right now my car doesn't pass smog and uh like I was telling you in the previous uh, video, I'm driving it planned non-operation. I only paid 700 bucks for it, put another $300, $400 into it. If it gets uh, impounded, I already made my money uh, off of uh, food delivery, so I'm okay. So this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the legal way, which is always, uh, kind of look in the gray area, okay? Because if you just do everything by the book, you're not gonna be able to survive. And this channel is called Urban Survivor Guy, okay? So this is what I found out because I'm also, I'm like a nomad. I travel wherever and I do things and uh, I have to be able to basically adapt and to survive and to have everything done. So if I say, for example, if I was going to go move to Mexico, you know, my car needs to be always registered and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when I was doing some research, I found out that, <clears throat> okay, for example, if you had an older car that runs good, but you know, it just can't pass emission smog tests in California, and you got the uh, you got the title to it. You still want to drive it legally? This is what you should do. Okay, so what you do is you go ahead and register the car in the state of South Dakota. South Dakota does not require uh, emission testing. Okay, I don't even think they even require uh, insurance. All they care is. You have a P.O. box address, a mail forwarding address out of the state of South Dakota. And you just pay them the cheap 
annual fee and you're good to go. They'll mail, the state will go ahead and mail you the registration to your mail forwarder and you could be in California, Montana, Mexico, Panama, wherever it is, and your car will be up to date. The reason why I, ha I needed my car to be up to date because I was planning to go to move to Mexico, which is way cheaper. And, you know, they see an outsider. I mean, you can just tell that, okay, this guy is not a local. So the police is going to go and try to get as much money as possible from them. So you got to have your papers straight. That's why you need you know, to have the current registration, insurance, and things like that, because you already know you're a target. So state of South Dakota. You don't need to be a residence there. Like I said, all just Google it up. Get a, a mail forwarder in the state of South Dakota. So wherever you're at, they can send you your registration, your tags, whatever like that, and you will be current. Your car will be current. So what else is the police going to do? You know, your car is, or is current. You have a South... Dakota license plate or whatever it is, is up to date. You, you know, if they pull you over, you're just passing through California. And uh, if you're at it and you like it, you might as well just go ahead and get residency in the state of South Dakota. You don't even have to live there. You just have to visit South Dakota for one day and you'll get your state residency. Why South Dakota? I don't think they have any state taxes all. So that's just a tip right there, folks, about how to drive a car in California that won't pass smog. Peace out. Go ahead and subscribe to your boy down there. Email me if you got any questions. I'm always out there in the hunt to try to find tricks and hacks to save the working man. Peace out.